Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Dynamics. This is the fourth video in the CNC series. In this video, we are going to mount the stepper motors onto the axis. I'm showing a quick recap of what we are going to do. So these are the NEMA 23 motors and uh, they are 57 mm long. The uh, diameter of the shaft is 1 4 inch, 6.2 mm, 6.25, mm. Uh, these will uh, and uh, this is the motor holder that I built uh, that I've shown in the first video. Uh, we are going to use uh, 4 mm screws, 1 inch screws, port screws. These motors will have 6 wires and uh, we only need 4 of them. So they represent to 2 coils 1, 2, 3 belong to coil 1, 4, 5, 6 belong to coil 2. Now we only need 1 and 3. 4 and 6, 2 and 5 you can just cut it and make sure they don't short to anything and leave it like that. These uh, stepper motors I got from a local vendor for about $11 each and uh, I got 3 of these for X, Y and X and 2Y axis. The Z axis motor as I have shown in the previous video is NEMA 17 that costed about $8. So there you go, uh, I have already uh, put the timing pulley on that. and. Uh, the way we are going to do this is uh, we are going to use two washers and two bearings and we are going to use that as uh, the guide for the timing belt. So first we are going to put one washer and two bearings and then another washer and then a nut for both the bolts. If you remember from the previous video, I told you that I mentioned that we will be mounting the motors on the bottom two bolts, that is where they are longer and that is what we are going to do. The key here is to make sure that when you are tightening the nuts, you need to fasten the motor holder and motor, not the bearings. That is why we are using two nuts on, the, on each side of the uh, motor holder. So when you tighten it, make sure that you leave some space so that the bearings are free to rotate and just tighten the motor holder. That way, the motor holder is fastened to the um, bolts, but uh, the bearings are still free to rotate. The next step is for the x-axis. It's the same thing, but uh, in this, we have to make sure that the bearings will align with these holes. That is important and we'll come to that later. But uh, so for that purpose, we are going to use one additional nut here so that the bearings will move to the right place. So one nut and a washer, two bearings, another washer. One washer, two bearings, another washer and another nut. Same thing for the both the bolts. Now in the X axis, we are going to mount the motor on the top side so that we can have easy access to wires and it will not interfere with the actual uh, spindle. Now same here, we have to make sure that uh, we leave some space for the uh, bearings to rotate freely and we just need to tighten the motor holder. Make sure that the wires on the motors are on top side so that they can be accessed easily. Now I am not using uh, washers on this because there is no space, they will interfere with the motor but that is fine, the entire uh, 4mm thick MS motor holder itself will work as a washer, that is fine. So you have to make sure that these uh, bearings are actually aligned with the holes that are made here. Uh, And this is for the other side of the Y axis. Now in the, for this I'm, I ran out of bearings so I am using a really old used bearings which is fine. So what you need to make sure is the center of the timing pulley should be roughly towards the center of both bearings. That way when you place the timing belt on top of it, it will be perfectly in the center. That is the idea. There you go, all three motors have been mounted. 
A next step is to adding the timing belt. Uh, you have to, like I said, you have to make sure that uh, the bearings are free to rotate and need to be aligned to these holes. If you remember from our first video, uh, we are going to um, use this little gizmo as a timing belt holder. This will go here and we are going to tighten them, tighten that with uh, 4 mm 1 inch bolts. This is the timing belt. It has a stainless steel core, so it is really strong. It can take a lot of weight and uh, I've already cut it to size but just for your reference you just take the one length of the axis and then put some extra on both sides that will help to that is needed to go over the pulley and bearings and uh, next step is the uh, actually uh, mounting the belt holder I'm using uh, 4mm 1 inch screws as you can screws as you can see you don't have to use uh, washer on the other side but uh, on the inside, after you have placed the belt holder, you need to use washers. They will help di distribute the uh, pressure evenly. And then a nut. You put the timing belt through the timing pulley and it will rest on the bearings roughly in the center of the bearings everything needs to be aligned if it is not you have to take it apart and make sure that they are properly aligned basically the belt should go through the center of the timing pulley on the motor and the center of the bearings and the center of the uh, belt holder so next step is to tighten it reasonably oh, this side is reasonably straightforward on the other side you have to make sure that you are holding it pulling it really hard before you can tighten it the next step is on the other side it's the procedure is exa exactly the same except for the fact that you need to make sure that you will pull it really hard before you can tighten it here There you go, it is done and it is really tight, as hard as I can tighten it. Next we will attack the y-axis. So for the y-axis we don't have the uh, holes on the side plates to align with the bearings. So what we are going to do is we are going to use a screwdriver, a star screwdriver and put it on the bearings where the timing belt will come in the center of the bearings. And we will use the head of the screwdriver as a reference because that is exactly where the timing belt will come as you can see. Take your time with this because this is critical and once you found the spot put the uh, belt holder and mark the locations this is where we'll drill holes as you can see i did not drill the hole at the correct place which came back and haunted me later so don't make the same mistake uh, the second hole will drill on the outside because this will be easier due to the space constraint on the inside I'm using 4mm 2 inch screws here. Uh, washers are required since we are using uh, this since this is the plywood. And the, on the other side same uh, we are going to use the belt holder and a couple of washers. I'm sure there are better ways to do this but uh, since I started uh, I just went with this. If there are any alternative suggestions or any better ways to do this, please do leave them in the comments. I would appreciate it. Now, uh, the belt will go like this under the uh, pulley and over the bearings. The next step is to tighten it on the other side. Here at this point of time I used a pair of players to hold it but uh, in retrospect it would have been easier to simply use a, a C-clamp to hold the belt onto the uh, side plate. That would have been much easier.
there you go it is done it is really tight i made sure i could i pulled it as tight as hard as i can and i did the same for all three motors all three axes one x and two y that concludes our video see you in the next video and uh, thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to click on the like icon and uh, don't forget to subscribe thanks for your support